welcome. So uh, I'm going to uh, walk you through. This is the kind of a welcome video, a start video here for Principles of Accounting 3, uh, BA 213. All right, and so this is the third uh, class in a series of classes, right? This class, we're going to cover managerial or cost accounting. So the chapters at the end, I think it's chapter 18 to 25, uh, all cover cost accounting concepts. So it's going to be an awesome term. So uh, the uh, screen here, as we have the screen here in front of us, this screen is kind of the, is the Blackboard site for the class. And so it looks a little different than past uh, terms, right? So uh, typically I had a lot more uh, kind of buttons over to the left side of the screen over over this direction, right? And so I've actually uh, a lot of links over there. I've, I've condensed a lot of those links into just uh, a few buttons, kind of a handful of buttons over here. I've actually received um, some kind of some feedback from uh, colleagues um, fellow instructors that told me maybe this is a good way to to make my website hopefully a little more nav um, easy to navigate and um, not confusing right so definitely give me some feedback as a student let me know how you like that new uh, setup or if you don't like it you know let me know for sure uh, something else that's new here up at the top of our links here there's a start here button okay so the start here button um, is is going to be the first thing that you see right that's probably why you're watching this video the video is going to be on the start here button or on the start here page uh, the start here page is really designed to give you the first a uh, couple three things that you're going to need as you start the class okay uh, the first one is there's an introduction for class participation that's a a post that you need to make in the discussion board okay of blackboard it has some questions out there that you can answer it's kind of like previous terms if you've taken this class before right so, or any of my other classes so I always have people do a, a discussion board intro the, this is also helpful there may be some new students that are, are in our section you know we kind of cross sections sometimes and there may be new students coming in so it's good for me to learn who you are and for your fellow classmates to also learn who you are okay there's the welcome announcement this just helps us understand kind of how the class is going to go and um, then of course i'll put this video on here once i'm done with it so let's go down through the links here really quick so the the links uh, announcements is one of the is the second link down i'm i usually put new announcements on uh like saturday at midnight sunday uh, you know first thing and so if you want to check those uh, important ones definitely that I'm doing in a timely manner I'll I'll uh, send them to your emails the announcements as well so that's kind of just a kind of one way to keep up with the class as we go okay so we've got the coursework folder this one's super important so for this class there is uh, I mean we go by chapter really a chapter a week is kind of what we do and so if you go in here, you see the uh, the welcome class participation post again in the discussion board. That link and the link and start here, they go to the same place, so you can use either, either one. Um, chapter assignments folder is going to have all of the chapter folders in there. In each chapter folder, uh, let's go ahead and open one up, for example, chapter 18. There's going to be the quizzes. The quizzes are going to be due before you come to class. Okay, so these quizzes really are designed to help you dig into the material and find out, okay, uh, you know, what what kind of stuff are we going to be doing uh, and hopefully have you read before you come to class. So when we do talk about it and do exercises, I guarantee you this term, because of the nature of cost accounting and managerial accounting, we're going to do a, a lot more activity in class. Okay, um, trying to stay away from the lectures. Really, I, I am. Um, I'll make you a promise on that one. Some of my lectures, I, I, to be honest with you, I don't like accounting lectures um, either. Maybe some of you do. That's great. If so, um, I'll, maybe I'll have a baby lecture now and, now and again for you. But anyways, so, so really the quizzes are to hopefully help you get into the chapter before you come to class. 
uh, chapter 18 assignment is going to be due. So we're going to cover that in class, right? And then it's going to be due the midnight of the day that we cover it in class, do the assignment in class. Okay. Uh, there's also problem Excel templates. Uh, in each assignment set, you guys know we have uh, quick studies, um, exercises, and problems, right? So there are different variations of the of uh, in the assignment. And so if you have a problem in the assignment set, then uh, you can use the template to solve the problem. Okay. There, there is one, and I noted it on the schedule. There is one problem set that doesn't have one of these templates, and so. Um, That'll be a good learning experience for us to maybe kind of build some of that stuff on our own. So, so any, anyways, just give you a heads up. Um, something else that I'm going to integrate with this course uh, is our participation journals. This is a way for you to get a couple of, you know, some easy points in the class. But it is, and it really is super good for me just to track and, and read kind of what you guys are doing weekly. If you have a problem or if you have... Um, any type of concern and you're not talking to me which is you know sometimes it's hard to come and uh, you know talk to instructors I realize put it in your journal entry your participation journal entry okay and that's going to be in here as well I'm going to throw that into the coursework so the participation journal I uh, need to do one every week need to have 10 total by the end of the term once a week right for the first 10 weeks okay um, also, as part of the coursework, we're going to have a, a group project. Okay, so there's the term project right here. The group project, where I'm going to divide you guys up into groups, and and you guys are actually will have you do that during the first class period, get into groups, and then uh, something new for the group project this term. So we're going to do the same thing. We're going to do the serial problems at the end of the chapters that we cover. These serial problems, I guarantee you, are a lot uh, easier right less busy work than in the first term the first term uh, the, the serial problems are some of them are, are bears I'll tell you the truth you know they're they're tough uh, these are going to be a little more enjoyable and I'll tell you that uh, something else I'm going to integrate or that's going to be integrated here that you you'll get to do twice during the term is you'll get to do a evaluation of your group members Okay, so you, you get a couple points yourself just for doing the eval. But uh, if there is a group member that's out there, and I see that there's consensus among the group that the group member did not participate in the group project, then uh, we don't have to worry about uh, them getting points for the project, right? So just those that are engaged in the group and doing the projects will get the points. Um, so just so you know that uh, there's going to be two exams during the term. There's an exam, the exam folder in coursework, uh, midterm and final. Exams are going to be set up the same way that they've been done before. Uh, the part one of the exam will be in class. Part two of the exam will be a take home uh, and submit through Blackboard assignment. Okay. All right, so course information here is the next link down on the left side. Um, the course information is uh, basically the syllabus and the schedule, right? So the syllabus will tell you how grades are done, any expectations I have for you, uh, my uh, kind of how I treat late work, all those things. Uh, the schedule is really we live and die by the schedule, right, for these classes. So definitely look and see which chapters are being done each week and stay on top of it and get those quizzes done. Uh, instructor PowerPoint, there's a link for those out here as well. So you can go and get uh, view those as well. Um, some students find those helpful. Um, really, I'm not doing the, the um, lectures as much in class. So you're, that those might be helpful to definitely use as you go through the chapter. I'll get you the information uh, so you can go through it otherwise. But um, then the course management, you're going to have an opportunity. There's a home page that helps you kind of track due dates and announcements that you can use as, under course management. There's also my grades. So I definitely try to get gr stuff graded and in black, back into Blackboard as soon as possible so you can kind of know how you're doing as you go throughout the term. Okay, uh, there's also a communication link down here. 
Uh, it's going to be email, so feel free if you want to email me, the instructor. Uh, it, there's also information on the syllabus, on my syllabus that shows my uh, office hours. Anytime, send me an email. I'll get back to you as soon as possible. If I'm not in my office, if I am in my office, you know, knock. If I'm in here, uh, and uh, I'll I'll help you out. So hopefully this little video helps you. Uh, some of you may have already known a lot of it. Um, some of you may, it may be something that will help you out. So we'll talk to you later. Have a good day. Bye.